Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Kamaya Maxine. I am a new wife, a new mom, and a new Fargo resident. And today I'm gonna to be showing you guys my apartment tour. It's really a town hall, but let's just go inside and see it. So I am walking straight into the main living area. It's where our living room is, our dining room, and then our kitchen. And I'm going to be starting with the kitchen. So, I absolutely love this kitchen. As you guys see, it is a very good size. <laughs> My favorite uh, parts about it would have to be the stainless steel appliances, like the dishwasher, um, the oven, the stove, the refrigerator that's behind me. I love the recessed lighting. So the things that I can leave for you guys would be the dry erase board that's right behind me. It's so convenient to see what you need and then to just write it down immediately so you don't have to like try to remember later on. And probably gonna link my essentials. I'm not a chef, but I can make some stuff in the air fryer and I can make some stuff in the Instapot. Instapot. I can make some stuff in the air fryer and I can make some stuff in the Instapot. I will also be showing you guys our pantry. I'm going to insert a nice little something something right in this area of the screen but as of right now it's not looking too hot so we're just gonna go on <laughs> past that now right across from the kitchen like i said it's a main living area this is our dining room i didn't do too much decorating in here very minimal but i did make this nice beautiful grand centerpiece today <laughs> before i recorded i just recently got married and these flowers were from the decorations we didn't use real flowers that is a money saver. And um, if you guys haven't seen my wedding video, you will see these flowers in them. And I just reuse them because, you know, they look real. And I like having fake centerpieces because like with the real flowers, you have to rewater them. I personally kill them. So yeah, this is my little hack to make this place look nice, but also don't have to worry about killing flowers in the meantime. The runner is from Target. The salt and pepper shakers are also from Target. And since I'm filming this at nighttime, you guys are not able to see how much light comes in through this window, but it is so nice. I love the lighting in this apartment. It's probably my favorite thing. This wall is bare. That's not how I would have kept it, but we're leaving. So in the next place, I'll definitely have some pictures and that would probably be it. I don't want to get a rug from this area because Amira is growing up, Amira is eating. She's not not messy <laughs> and it just be easier and she's away so it will be easier to just keep this without a rug I'm gonna go grab her and I'll be right back okay you guys sweet pea is awake say hi say hi say hi say hi mama and we're gonna pick up in the living room it is my absolute favorite room in the entire house and it is the place where I have put the most effort into decorating which I think you can tell. The rug that you see me like standing on is actually from Amazon. It's a really nice rug but we spent a pretty penny on it, not gonna lie. So then um, over here these plants are fake. Again, I kill plants so both of these fake plants, I'll link those down for you below. The stands that they're on, also Amazon, I'll link them below. Our entertainment system came from Home Goods, and um, we got it for a really good price. I was so not in love with this, but my husband convinced me to get it, and now I see why we got it. <laughs> and the nice little decoration. I'm so proud of this little setup. I'm so proud of this setup, guys. <laughs> Basically came from a shop that my husband found that had a lot of home decor and well, he doesn't remember the name. This cute little thing, I don't know what to call it, is where we leave our remote. I like to get decorations that are cute and of course fit the aesthetic, but also very functional. I thought it was really important that we had a full-size mirror somewhere in the house, but full-size mirrors, guys, at least the size that I wanted, are expensive. We found this and it was a steal. It was from, um, what is that place called, baby? Bed Bath & Beyond. Yes! Bed Bath & Beyond! And it was literally like $50. And it looks nice in this space. Usually you don't put a full-size mirror 
in the living room, but we did, and I'm happy about it. <laughs> so, this is a cozy little place for us. Um, your baby. No? You just want to play at mommy's necklace. <laughs> All the pillows that you guys see are from Home Goods. I racked up on pillows. I think they just make spaces very cozy and warm and inviting. And of course, I'm big on creams and nudes, so I had to get all of those colors. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's where I got the pillows. To my right, you're gonna see the door to our balcony. This just swings open like any other balcony door, but since it's dark outside, it'll be very random and weird for me to show you guys that. So I will just insert a clip when it's actually daylight outside so you guys can see the balcony right here. So that is the main living space, the living room, the dining room, and the kitchen. It is all in the center of our townhome. I love the layout. It's very open, and that is my favorite, favorite layout in like every single home. So we're going to go down the hall so you guys can see where we do laundry and a lot of other stuff. And here we are. You guys saw this in my day to life video. I love these washers and dryers. Hopefully they're not as expensive as I'm thinking they will be because I've gotten used to them. But uh, they have wrinkle shields on them, which blew my mind because I really think they work. They have pre-soap, extra rents, just all these really cool features that I've never had on a washer before. So I've enjoyed that. I did pretty well with just providing storage too. So we're able to put like our towels and washing detergents and things like that and sheets all above in this area. Let's head across the hall so you guys can see what's going on there. Sweet baby, you're not light. As you guys see, I thought a really cute touch since this is me and Jess's first home would be to include some pictures from our wedding. Um, we got the actual photos from Amazon and then we got the frames. I think Jess put them up at like Target. Yeah, uh -huh. it was Target. Okay, yeah. And I think they're just so cute. It just adds like a really nice homely touch. So now we're gonna come into the bathroom. They stuck with the consistent theme, which not a lot of townhomes and apartments do, which is like the granite countertops, the same granite that's in the kitchen, and then the same um, wood and stain of wood in the bathrooms, which I love. The pictures that I put up in here, I think a lot of people kind of see these on Pinterest and then they go and find them somewhere and I am one of those people. So I found them on Amazon. The prints were literally so inexpensive. I think they were like $5 each or together. Like, I don't know, I'll link it for you guys. And then the frames I think I got from Target. So I think it came together pretty good. I think it looks nice. It's a pretty simple but awesome bathroom. And the little can, the, it's really cute. <laughs> the little trash can um, that matches everything. And this rug also came from Amazon. Okay guys, I've shown you guys the laundry room. I'm showing you the bathroom, guest bathroom. And now I'm gonna show you my hubby's office and then our guest bedroom slash Amanda's room. Let's go in. Okay, so the first thing that you notice when you come in here is probably going to be this huge, ginormous whiteboard. Now we did not pay the insane amount that it costs to get this kind of size whiteboard. We did it ourselves. There's a DIY video that I'll link down below for you guys. It works like a whiteboard should work <laughs> and it stays and it's sturdy and yeah it was much cheaper than it would have been to just buy it all out. I highly recommend you do this. The next thing you're going to notice is my hubby loves tech, so I don't know the technical name for all this stuff, but he has this light-up keyboard. It's what, baby? It's a Logitech. Uh, it's a mechanical keyboard, and it has the cool RGB lighting on it. Okay, it has that, and then he has his 4K um, screens and a cool mount. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really know how to... I wish I had the right names, to technical terms or whatever, but... I'm not a tech person. And we have this beautiful piece that his brother actually drew himself. And then it has his favorite fighter on there, which is John Jones, yeah? Yep. His favorite actor, which is Keanu Reeves. Yep. My hubby. <laughs> <laughs> and then it has, I always forget, she's in like Game of Thrones or something. Arya Stark. What he said. And then his favorite comedian. 
Bill Burr. Okay, yes. So he put all them together and it's white and black and I love that because y'all know we can actually put this piece anywhere and it's still gonna go with my aesthetic. So I love this piece. And then over here, I'm gonna link this diffuser for you guys. It's way more masculine than any other diffusers. It's black and have some wood in there. I think it looks really cute and it's easy to work and small so it's not taking up a lot of space. So I think that's really about it in this room. I won't go into the closet, you know, privacy and whatnot. I probably burned off the whiteboard because privacy and whatnot. So we can just leave this room and then head into our guest room slash Amir's room. She's in her jolly jumper, so you, she's gonna be busy. Hi. Hi, baby. <laughs> hi, mama. Did you say hi? Are you having fun? <laughs> Hi, baby. <laughs> okay, so we are in the guest room now. If you follow me on Instagram, then you've probably seen where the Jolly Jumper is, is actually where we used to have a crib, but somebody <clears throat> wasn't ready for her to be in here by herself. <laughs> so the crib is in our bedroom, which you guys will see next. And this is our guest bed, so anyone who comes to visit us, will end up sleeping on this bed. So Sweet Pea was done with the Jump Jump Show, she's now with me. My favorite part, about this room it's going to be the lighting right now the blinds are closed because again we're filming at night but this window is huge and then this other window is huge so literally this is the most well-lit room in the entire place and i love it i love being in here it's so peaceful <laughs> and it's perfect for our baby girl i'll show you guys this closet because you guys have actually already seen it another walk-in closet very spacious and it's got our sweet piece stuff all her <laughs> pampers and her clothes and everything everything her towels her toys <laughs> we've got it all in this closet <laughs> i know one thing i'm definitely gonna miss is the storage that this place came with for sure right baby yes sure yeah all right so we've definitely explored the left side of our townhome to the tea, and now we're gonna be getting into our bedroom. So this is our master bedroom. I absolutely love how spacious it is. And they had three windows on both sides of the bed, which I really like, so we both get some natural light on both sides. I guess I'll start talking about this dresser. So, if you guys go back to the first video, or the second video that I had on my channel, this was actually on the floor because I was just so caught up in the price of how cheap it was that I didn't realize that it was very short. So Jess went ahead and put on these legs on the bottom to lift it up and I actually like it. But actually in the next place I want it to be even more minimal in our bedroom so it's going to be in a pair's room, not ours. The next thing I want to point out is how they have these little boxes behind like the TV so we don't have to worry about boards hanging down which it just does something to me. Like aesthetically I hate are hanging down and so does Jess so we love that they have like just a mounted situation where we don't have to worry about seeing the boards. So some favorites that I have would be this machine that we have right here. It is the Hatch Baby that just turned on. Go back up. The Hatch Baby um, machine. It's a sleep machine, um, a noise machine, white noise. It has so many different settings and it operates completely from your phone which I love so much. And now it's lighting up and I needed to just I guess it's just not gonna go off. Are you gonna? Next thing that I love, 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 love is this block. It says love y'all and it's John 316, one of my favorite verses. It's such a nice statement to just have in your bedroom as a reminder when you wake up every single morning. Lastly, my favorites would be one, this rock situation that I got from Home Goods. I just think it looks like very feng shui, very like peace and earthy, which I love. And then I have my diffuser, which I literally use every single day. I can't put like essential oils in there yet because baby girl is in here and she's very sensitive. Those are my favorite things over here. This is just a basket that I picked up at Target and Pulse Buy and we keep like our remotes in here, we keep our keys in here. Nothing special but it's just a simple thing that we can just grab into where those things are at all times. Okay so baby girl is a tire so we're gonna speed this up this is your crib i don't really have much to say about it um i got this braided 
crib bumper on Amazon and I read so many reviews I wanted to make sure it was safe for my baby girl. I absolutely love this. Our wedding pictures. I think this is such a good thing to do in your home. I think it's just a really special touch to make it more like home, make it more cozy and you know just bring in memories and very very precious ones. So for our bedroom of course I thought this would be the perfect place to just have our wedding pictures on display. Clearly these people made baby girls, so <laughs> it's a perfect situation there. Now let's go ahead into our master bed. Baby, I can't move. <laughs> let's go into our master bathroom. Now something that I know I'm going to miss in our new home is definitely going to be the double sinks. Behind the sinks over here is actually a, um, a toilet. I like that it's tucked away and by itself in this area instead of being like out in the open. You know, you could do your little do in private and close the door. You didn't have to see that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's up now we're over here. So another thing that I'm really gonna miss, I think I mentioned this early in the video, is our shower. This is the fanciest shower I've ever had in my life, y'all. <laughs> I love that it's glass. I love that it's not like the curtain and stuff, which is definitely what we're, what we're gonna have in the next place. But it's just nice. It's a fancy pick-me-up to just be in this tall, uh, what is this, brick shower. Like, I just really, really like it. Also, this bathroom is pretty large. I was able to get her Jolly Jumper in here, literally like shower with her Jolly Jumper in here and like still be in the shower, which was really nice. Now where Jess is standing right now is actually where our war room is. It's our walk-in closet. I am going to <laughs> do a separate video for that one because my war room tour is like completely a video within itself. So I'm not gonna squish that in here. I have a separate video for that and we can go back to the living room because I got a couple of things to talk to you guys about. Hey guys, so I'm gonna wrap up this video here. Thank you guys so, so, so much for watching it to the very end. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already and please leave a comment below on your favorite room. I will be posting our new townhome tour, empty townhome tour, very, very soon. So make sure your bell notifications are on so you do not miss that one. And yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Out of breath from those stairs. <laughs> You're 20 pounds now. Oh, you're so sleepy.